Hey guys, it's Dash from Bloom Where You're Planted. And as you can see, the sun is bright out today. It's a beautiful day on the homestead. Beautiful morning. And we're gonna go and check and see if we have any babies born last night. So come with me. Hi Adeline, how are you doing? Let's see. Oh, look at that. Beautiful nest. Let's see. Oh, look at those babies. Look at those babies. See about one, two, three, which is not a huge amount, but usually she has like seven. Everything else is okay. Okay, everything's good. It was a cold night last night. It was, you know, get down to 35. So that's one disadvantage of having rabbits in the south. You really can only breed during the cold months and sometimes it can get pretty cold. So I'm glad she skipped the day where it was 25 and had the babies. It was a little warm. It should warm up this week. No more cold spells for a while. Cross your fingers. All right. I'm going to get you a treat out of mine. How about some kale? Okay. Let's check on this stick. Oh. Well, no babies. I think she had a little bundle. I think she dropped it when I opened it, but she had a little bundle of grass in her mouth. You see that little bundle? It's hard to see. So she's making a nest. They gather up little bundles of grass in their mouth and busy making a nest. So that's exciting. So that means that the time is coming. Headed back there, setting everything up, but no hair yet. So, yay! This will be her first birth. So um, we're excited about that and hopefully she won't have any trouble and she'll be a good mama. Pull lots of hair for her babies. Trouble meaning sometimes um, their first litter, they can birth the babies on the wire um, and, and they get cold so fast and that sometimes they can kind of step on them, not feed them and sometimes they just don't pull enough hair like till after they've had the babies. So, um, and the babies get cold and it's really hard to keep them alive after that so um, but usually it's no big deal um, and we're hoping that she'll be a good mama for us all right we'll keep an eye on her today well that's exciting okay, I'm gonna give Adeline a little broccoli wrap because we have plenty of that right now just a little bit because sometimes broccoli can cause gas so, a little bit of that and of course pellets all right so let's see it's a lot warmer now it's been a, a nice warm day so i can get one of the babies out to show you guys where are they there they are Isn't that sweet? Yes. And people say, if you know, if you touch them, the mother will reject them. That is not true. I've, I've held lots of baby bunnies. Isn't that sweet? He's nice and warm. And like I said, there are only three. It's probably, the buck is not very fertile at the end of the summer. And Adeline's getting a bit older. This is her third year with us, so. Um, so that could be it too. So usually she has five to seven. So I think her last litter was seven. But we had three beautiful babies. She's a good mama. All right. Cover them up for the night. Good night, baby. There's Papa. <laughs> Thanks for your part in it, Papa. That hair sticks to my hands. 
Like, All right, you. and then Mystic has not given birth yet, so she's still, still waiting on her. But I think she's, she'd do any time. They do look a certain way when they're about to give birth. They're just laying there like, I, I can't really describe it. I wish I could describe it. It's just a certain look that they have, and I can usually tell. Here goes the changing of the signs. Merry Christmas. Check and see if we have more babies today. See, I'm so excited. Babies. There's Adeline for her baby. tonight she was definitely building a nest so she hasn't pulled fur yet so well maybe tonight they tend to have them in the middle of the night hi Christopher I'm coming I'm gonna get my farm chores on all right we'll check again later 